Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. And I'm Mandy Knoll. We first brought you this story last night at 10 and 11, and news since then, we're learning more about what happened and the victim who is still recovering tonight. Now, it all happened around 7 last night around Powersdale Avenue. 27 First News reporter Molly Reed spent the day talking with investigators. She's live tonight outside of the Youngstown Police Department. Molly. That's right. Youngstown police have been investigating this since it happened last night around 7 p.m. Now they're asking for your help with getting information on the suspect. But in the meantime, some of the victim's friends are stepping up with a pretty big reward with also, also for information on the suspect. Some help. Who shot you? Are they still there? In the 911 calls, you can hear a clearly frantic 57-year-old Ellen Zaban. She had just pulled into her driveway on Powersdale Avenue when a man walked up and demanded her wallet. Then he shot her. Zaban called 911 herself as she sat in her car. The drive by or you know who shot you? I have no idea. Why did he rob me? Eventually, a neighbor who had heard the gunshots came to help and talk to the dispatchers. Hey, how many shots did you hear? Chris. I thought two or three. Before she could give him money, he produced a handgun and shot her once in the left side of the face and twice in the left arm. Zaban went to the hospital still conscious, but police haven't been able to ask her a lot of questions yet to see if she remembers anything more about the suspect. In the meantime, the nonprofit Canine Crusaders is putting out a reward for the suspect. With the help of an anonymous donor, um, right now we're offering a $1,000 reward um, to any information that could help with the apprehension of the perpetrator. An avid animal lover, Zaban works closely with the organization. She's basically helped, I think, every rescue in this area at one time or another. If anybody has any information uh, regarding the investigation, please contact the Youngstown Police Department at 330-747. 7911. Now, in the 911 calls, the man did briefly describe the shooter as a black male wearing a khaki jacket and cap. Again, if you have any information, you're asked to call Youngstown Police Department. For now, in Youngstown, Molly Reed, WKBM 27 First News.